All right, I've got the Ego Nexus 3000, and I am doing, for the first time, doing solar charging using a 120 watt uh, solar panel. And um, so this model is 12 Sivan. The USB-C on that doesn't really work very well, but seems to be charging using the normal charger that you can get for the Ego Nexus 3000 inverter. So I've got a four amp hour battery there that I drained completely. And according to this, on a 120 um, watt solar panel, it can charge up this one battery in two hours, 16 minutes. Um, this solar transformer here is supposed to be able to do up to 180, which is kind of small compared to other uh, solar charger uh, inverters, but um, I'm not unhappy with this. I mean, that's decent, free power. Um, I could put all the other batteries on and see what that looks like here in just a sec. Okay, and I've got uh, a few more batteries here. Um, that I'm going to throw on. A screen shuts down just to kind of conserve power as it's charging this 4 amp hour battery. So it was at 2 hours 16 minutes I believe earlier so I'm going to take this one 5 amp hour battery and I'm going to slide it on there and we'll see how that affects the screen. So it looks like with nine amp hour batteries or worth of batteries now, it goes up to five hours to charge it using up to 120 watts. I highly doubt it's actually getting a full 120 watts on that panel. So we'll say maybe 100 watts. Um, again, it can take up to 180 with this particular um, inverter uh, turned into solar. So now we're gonna put on a 12 amp hour battery. We've got two of these that are completely depleted see that. So we'll stick this one on. Let's see how that affects the time. 12 hours. So this would take basically a full day of sunlight. Um, right now it's 1039 on Sunday the 23rd. If we did stick on the other one, which I'm not going to try and charge that many need to because it'll never happen in one day. So two 12 amp hours, a 4 amp hour, and a 5 amp hour. So we're looking at 33 amp hours of batteries, all 54 uh, volt, or 56 volt, I'm sorry, would take 19 hours. So, and again, I'm not going to try and charge these 12 amp hour batteries right now because that's just going to take too long. Sorry, they're a little on the heavy side. So then that goes back down to, so I'd be able to ex expect at least nine amp hours, um, be able to charge in about five hours. So yeah, happy with the setup. Again, you'd have to get this um, solar converter a separate that does not come with the Nexus 3000. And again, just hooks, plugs right into just a foldable solar panel and you can get those online um, through Amazon. So yeah, looks, looks like it's working okay. So we'll see if it charges it up. All right, charged on a pretty uh, cloudy day, but the energy that we collected today just from the sun was cloudy. Turn on the bank of outlets. Turn on that. Turn up the air purifier. And based on today, just settle down a bit. Looks like about nine hours of electricity to have the air purifier run tonight later on. So good. It's 
turn that off for later. Free energy.